What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video where we are going to be making a traditional Irish soda bread loaf. This just smells incredible right now. Now there are many variations on this traditional basic recipe that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So you can absolutely get creative and play around with the recipe yourself. Some people really like to have a whole meal version. Some people really love to add currants. Really, it is totally up to you. Get creative and go for it. This bread is no knead, no yeast and no rise. So it is ready to go the second that you get that dough together. So it is perfect for anybody who is on a busy schedule but still wants to enjoy delicious homemade bread. And if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Now, let's get into the recipe. So before we begin, let's preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, and that is in a fan oven. So for the recipe, you'll need 400 grams of strong flour if you can, but if not, plain is perfectly fine. 300 mils of buttermilk, 50 grams of porridge oats, five grams of salt and five grams of baking soda, which is also called bicarbonate of soda. And you could also use bread soda. Firstly, you want to sieve your flour and your salt into a large mixing bowl. I find this really satisfying to do and it means that there will be no lumps or pockets of flour in your bread mix. Now you'll want to sieve your bicarbonate of soda on its own quite carefully through the sieve because as you can see, the longer it sits there, the more it tends to clump up. And those lumps don't break down when you simply whisk it with the rest of your dry ingredients. If you've ever had a bake that tasted horrendously metallic and just completely wrong, it's probably because the bicarbonate or the baking soda wasn't mixed correctly. And lastly, you can whisk in your porridge oats. Next up, I'm going to line a baking tray with a silicone baking mat. I like to do this because I find it to be a lot cleaner than turning dough out onto my kitchen counter. But if you don't mind cleaning up the mess, then just flour your work surface. Then it is time to add your liquid and bring the dough together. If you don't like getting your hands wet with the dough, you can totally use the back of the wooden spoon to actually bring the dough together. But I really like to get stuck in, shape my hand like a claw, pour everything in, just don't get it all over your hands like I did, and work in circles from the center outwards until the dough starts to come together. You'll end up with a dough that is soft but not overly sticky. And because this is a no knead bread, you can just bring it together really gently in the bowl itself and then turn it out onto that floured work surface or in my case, onto the silicone baking mat. And now all I'm doing is shaping the dough into a circle that's about seven inches in diameter and about one and a half to two inches high. And this does not have to look perfect. Irish soda bread is rustic in its nature. And then don't forget to create a shallow cross. Cross your bread, cutting it into four equal wedges. And this is how we eat it in our house. We literally pull off one wedge each to eat. And once your dough has come together, you're going to bake it in a preheated oven for about 30 minutes. This is the first bake. After those 30 minutes, you can remove your bread from the oven, turn it upside down, and you're going to pop it back into your oven for about 10 minutes. Remove from the oven and cool on a wire rack. I always find it really hard not to cut straight into fresh bread from the oven because it just smells so amazing. But actually, if you leave it cool down, it's so much better because you don't get that gummy texture which can result if you cut into your loaf too soon. So a little bit of patience goes a long way with bread. Personally, I love to eat this bread slathered in butter, but I also love it with jam. And if you haven't seen my video on how to make blackberry jam, I will leave it in a card above my head and also in the description box below so that you can check it out after this video. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of my traditional Irish soda bread. I really hope you have fun making this and putting it together. If you do recreate it, please don't forget to tag me on all of my social medias, which are linked in the description box down below. Please don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'm really looking forward to seeing you back on my channel again. Bye.